Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Disturbing Puppet. Today we're going to be playing some more Slay the Spire. I'm actually going to be continuing a run that I started last night, uh, did the first section of... We're trying to get through all the way to the end with the defect. So uh, I've already finished the first set, so I've got the two second sections of the dungeon to get through. Or the Spire. Did I already grab this? Uh, I already grabbed the battery, so I'm going to do that again. Uh, let me just quickly go over my deck. So we have some cards upgraded. We've got an upgraded Zap, upgraded Dual Cast. Uh, I'm running some different cards this time that I had before. Uh, Streamline I had never seen before, so I got that and upgraded it. Um, we've got upgraded Loop. We've got upgraded Hello Worlds, upgraded Double Energy, Self Repair, and I just grabbed Echo Form. I haven't actually used it yet. So uh, I've kind of felt like I needed to do more damage in general, so that's why Streamline I think is quite helpful for that. And it upgraded doing 20 damage, and then it reduces its cost each time. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then if I can combine that with a rebound, that has happened once or twice, that's pretty awesome. So kind of focusing, trying to do a little bit more focus anyway on damage. So let us continue. On to the city. Oh, I've got a little bit of money, so we could go for the vendor right away. Actually, before I do anything, let me check on the stream and make sure it's working. That looks all right. That looks all right. Okay. Uh, I did hit a couple elites in the first section. We've got a couple here we could go for, or we could just ignore them. Uh, there's a lot of elites here. Potentially one, two, and three if I really wanted to. That might be kind of dangerous. Let's see if there's a way I can hit multiple rest spots so I can upgrade some stuff to and it's like two for most well three if I, I could go through here that's not too bad um, we could get upgraded fight an ep epic or elite heal up afterwards continue moving on heal up for the main boss that's not too bad of a route. Yeah, let's try for that. I'll show my stuff. So we have the Crack Core, which we always start with, so channeling the lightning. I have the Matryoshka. The next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. We've had that trigger once. Uh, frozen Egg, whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgrade it. Meat on the Bones. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. Uh, Strawberry adds to my max health. And the nuclear battery lets me start with a plasm, or plasma. And that just gives me an extra action, and when it triggers, it'll give me two actions. So he's going to hit me for a lot. Um, so let's just throw some stuff out here. Go ahead and use that. Uh, let's activate that. Let's throw a loop out there. I don't have to defend if I don't need to. Uh, we can go ahead and nuke him with some lightning. I'll just throw the defend out for no reason. Getting my head around the defect has kind of been interesting. He's kind of an odd character, quite a bit different than the other ones. So hopefully we can actually make it through to the end. We'll see. I haven't actually finished with him. Uh, what do we want to do? Next turn, get another action isn't too bad. I've got a ton of actions this turn. Let's have some lightning. Let's heal at the end of the combat. Uh, let's get some damage in. Let's see if we draw anything useful. Hmm. Yeah, let me rebound the charge battery here, just because I don't have anything else better to do. Give me another action next turn. Don't really have to worry about blocking. I've got no potions right now. It's going to make me suffer. So suffer. What is... Give me a hex. Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. That's not too bad. Uh, he's going to do something bad again, something negative. I don't really need to do this. I've got tons of actions right now. All right, let's hit him for some damage. 
Got a bunch of attacks here. We might as well use them. Um, I'll do that again just because. And that'll be it. I feel like doing more damage quickly is a lot more useful in this than uh, trying to be defensive. So what damage can we do? We're kind of weakened right now, so we're not doing as much. We can only do about nine, it looks like. Let's draw a card and see if we get anything useful. So the first card you play each turn is played twice. Just the first. Okay, doesn't do me any good right now. How many actions do I need? Three, four, five, six. I already have enough. We might as well throw this in so it'll be active from next turn. Let's do some damage. Let's do some damage. And I guess we'll just do some blocks here. It was giving me dazed, but I don't want to take any damage if I can avoid it. That'll get me to 14, so almost all of it blocked. And dead. Alright, fire potion, not so awesome, but something. Um, what do we want? I do like the streamlines. Doing more damage is quite helpful. Charge battery is not bad either. Um, I've got one self repair. That seems about right. Let's grab another streamline. I want to do more damage as much as possible, as fast as possible. Come across an ornate building which appears abandoned. A plaque that has been torn free from the walls on the floor it reads the library. Inside you find countless rows of scrolls, manuscripts, and books. You pick one, cozy yourself up into a chair for some quiet time. Read, choose one of 20 cards to add to your deck. Sleep, heal 27 HP. Well, I'm at max HP, so that's fine. Let's choose a card. Uh, something upgraded would be better. Static Discharge is pretty good. I had that in the last run that I did. I've already got a Hello World. I don't really need another one. Heat Sink, whenever you play a Power Card, draw two cards. Eh. What else? Is there anything interesting? Preferably something upgraded, but maybe something else. Uh, Tempest was kind of fun. I messed around with that a little bit in the previous run that I did. Something that would give me more orb slots might be useful too. I don't know if there is anything here. I'm getting more frost now, so Blizzard could potentially be useful, depending on what cards I get. I could definitely see you could definitely build a deck around Blizzard. Hmm, I think Static Discharge. Cost is good, and gives me some just orbs constantly. The story is about a man who journeyed beyond the stars and found himself stuck on a desolate foreign planet. Ingenuity, luck, perseverance, and humor to retain his sanity were his tools to return home. Fascinating. Fascinating. Um, now let's go for a mystery... This route's not going to take me... Okay, we can get to the vendor up there. That's fine. Let's go kind of this route. I like the mysteries. While sneaking past a group of shrouded figures, one of them approaches you. Got anything for me, friend? Please? Maybe some coin? I just need something to stay. I have treasure I can trade. He seems delusional, but harmless. Uh, yeah, we'll give you some money. Get a relic. Oh, yes, yes, here. Here, fair trade. Ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns. That's cool. So if I don't use it, I guess it carries over. That's pretty awesome. So energy just being actions. So more and more actions. Ah, flyers. Scumbaggy flyers. Do have a bunch of attacks coming in. So it might be fun to throw the static discharge out there. Um... Let's block it. I don't want to take the damage, and we'll just kind of get everything ready. We'll get a hit off on somebody. 
Since they're flyers, they'll take less damage. Just hit the strongest guy. And I'm going to hold off on the defend because I've got the block covered, and that means we should carry over that energy. Yeah, cool. All right. Um, streamline doing 20. It'd be nice to knock them down first. Drain three block, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Well, I could streamline and then hologram and pull it back. Let's have some more lightning. It's hitting me. 10 damage coming in. Sure, let's hologram. I'll take the streamline back because now it only costs one. Uh, I could take him, hit him again, and then he would lose. It wouldn't kill him, but he would lose flying and be stunned. So that's a fairly decent option. Let's just do that. Unfortunately, we didn't get the self repair up, but it'll come back. Maybe we actually killed him too, that's cool. Boosting strength. Hologram again. Ooh, lots of damage coming in. Um, Alright. Well. Now it costs zero if I want to use it. Let's double my energy. Let's go ahead and hologram. Let's grab the free streamline. Make a loop. Don't have enough attacks though. Yeah, we'll just do what damage we can here. Okay, I took him out. And now I should carry the energy over to the next round. So even if I create a whole bunch, it doesn't disappear. I should have it next turn. Took a little bit of damage there. Yeah, tons of energy now. That's pretty cool, actually. Alright, how much does Claw do? Three. Uh, let's just Sweeping Beam. Nuke that one. Another fire potion. All right, I don't want to burn those. Uh, upgraded loop. I don't know if these stack. I do have one in my deck. I'm not sure if I have another one. If it would trigger twice for each loop, I'm not sure how that works. Maybe. Uh, or nine damage. If it stacks, that's really good. So I'm gonna hope that it actually stacks, and we'll see what happens. And let's just continue this way. We'll head on up, hit the elite. I think. Yeah, and we'll hit the vendor later. Freaky plant. Snake plant. It's gonna hit me for a lot of damage here, actually. Um, let's get some block. Uh, since I carry energy over from turn to turn, I might as well just use that. If I can't use it, it's fine. doesn't matter. So if I rebound Hello World and cast it twice, is that going to do two times? Maybe? 
find out. No drawing. So upon receiving damage, gains five block. Block gain increases as malleable is triggered, resets to three at the start of your turn. Okay. Uh, we'll hold off. I, I want to use this maybe to kill someone. If I need the space, then I'll just burn him. Yeah, lots of energy here. So he's going to do a negative effect. Uh, let's have some lightning. Doesn't really help this turn. Let's just do a bunch of damage all at once. Throw out the static discharge. Get another hit through. Guess we can do that as well. Doing less and less damage here. Steam barrier doesn't matter. Frail and weakened me. So I'm going to do less damage from weakened and get less block from frail. That's not super helpful. Well, let's lightning him. It's only 11 damage now. Do 9. So that's 20. Yeah, we'll just finish him off then, I think. So I'm just going to gain block. I didn't take that into account. So loop two. Let's try looping again. Yeah, four. So it does. It will trigger multiple times. Okay, that's cool. Unfortunately, these aren't really going to do much if I get through. But I can use one of the potions and kill them. Well, let's just nuke him and kill it. What do we want? Ball lightning! 10 damage and channel 1 lightning, not bad. 7 damage to random enemy twice, go for the eyes, 3 damage. If he tends to attack, apply 1 weak. Um, if I can't, I've typically been trying to grab the upgraded cards. Ball lightning is not bad, just take that. I think damage is kind of what I need to focus on. Doing as much damage as possible. Uh, I'm probably okay for an elite here, maybe. So let's upgrade something. Let's upgrade my other streamline, just to do more damage. And let's try for the elite. This might be the end right here, <laughs> if things don't go well. Uh, let's see. So we have Mad Gremlin, Fat Gremlin, and Gremlin Leader. If we kill the Gremlin Leader, these guys will just run away. Um, what do we want to do here? If I want to rebound, I'm just thinking of which card I want to rebound, either the loop or the hello world. Maybe loop, because I don't have to do anything. It doesn't cost me any energy to do it. So let's loop. Um, let's hello world. I guess we can have some block, that's fine. Channel frost. I don't like that. Alright, Echo Form. First card you play each turn is played twice. Gotta remember that. What's my priority here? Wow, I've got a lot of damage coming at me this turn. Um, so probably Static Discharge uh, we want to throw out there. Only got one defense. Jeez. 
All right, have the static discharge. Let's have some defense. Tiny bit of damage, there's not much else I can do. Um, just throw out another loop. And hit him for a little bit more. Uh, I could potentially just go ahead and use my fire potion here because it'll do more damage because he's weakened. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. No, oh, it didn't actually increase. Maybe it countered off because I'm weak. The potion is 20. Yeah. Oh well. I don't pay nearly as much attention as I should. And every time we take damage, we're going to trigger a bunch of lightning. Just massive general damage. <laughs> and there's the loops triggering, which is pretty cool. Only seven damage coming this time. Uh, streamlines down to 15. Let's see. Let's kill off the other guy here. Draw a card. Finish him off. Yep, yeah, double my energy because it carries over from turn to turn, so that's totally fine. Let's do 15. Let's hologram. Let's grab a cheap streamline. Just cast it again. Yeah, I kind of like how that works when uh, the combinations are going. So actually, hologram might be a bit more useful than I thought at first. Especially with that combination with those streamlines. Uh, I'll throw out a block just because... He's going to take a bunch of damage from my lightning orbs. So he is toast. Um, let's get self-repair up so we'll heal a little bit before combat's over. Uh -huh. I could have just lightninged him or done other things. Uh, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Bullseye is not bad. Lock on. Well, targets receive 50% more damage from orbs. So that's pretty good. Cold snaps decent. Buffer prevent the next two times you lose HP. That saved my life before. Let's take that. Um, I may not actually need to rest up. I might be okay to hold off. Continue up this way. Yeah, maybe I can wait to heal up until we get all the way up there. Maybe. So let's upgrade a card here. Which to upgrade? Twelve damage instead of nine. Nine instead of six. Nine instead of six. Thirteen instead of ten. That's not very good. Um, yeah, that's really not that great of an improvement. Um, hmm. Guess we'll go with a rebound. Let's grab a chest. Get extra things. Smiling Mask. Merchant card removal service now costs only 50 gold. Okay. Sure, again, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. So I have a way to increase my dexterity and my strength. But I've got to play lots of attacks. Mystery. Mystery box. Oh, got the vendor right here. Okay. Sure. What do you got on sale? Cursion's not bad. Um, since loop does stack, that's pretty good. What else? I could grab another streamline. Patience. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards. That's pretty good. I'd be better if it was a power than a skill. Uh, we'll 
with this pendant. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. That's pretty cool. You can just barely afford that. Um, I might be better off with more loops, though. Upgraded loops. Let's have as many loops as we can. Uh, recursion isn't bad, and it's a good price. Tempted to grab another streamline, just because it's so much damage if I upgrade it. Um, hmm. Yeah, recursion or streamline. I I can afford both though if I want. I just don't want to make my deck too huge right away. Uh... Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab both. Let's just burn all our money. I tend to make my decks way too big in this. Uh, so we can go mystery combat or two combats. Now hitting the vendor here isn't that important, so we might go for the mystery there. Now let's do some combats. I think we're doing fairly well with building up the deck that I want to do as much damage as possible. So he's going to do a negative effect. Let's just get a bunch of stuff set that's going to help me out. Let's go ahead and hit him with that, get that going. Uh, sure, let me check that a couple times. Confusion. Oh, I hate confusion. <laughs> I forgot all about confusion. So confusion, whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. That's kind of crappy. Uh, gives me a free loop. This is the same, so we'll throw that out. Let's draw a card, let's see what we get. Another loop. Not sure if it'll change the cost. Um, so we've got some extra dexterity and strength now. Do I want another loop? Probably another loop. I'm going to take a bunch of damage here, though, unfortunately. Got a ton of energy. More than I will ever need. Okay, so when I trigger this, it's going to give me more actions. I wonder if I can kill him this turn. Let's go ball lightning, trigger the lightning, and dead. Cool, yeah. And once I get that kind of cycling through, that works really well. Control block. Uh, yeah, let's add the hologram, because that's pretty useful, actually. Did take a little bit of damage there. Kind of stuck on my path now. So we have the shelled parasite and the fungal beast. It says fungi, but I like fungal. Uh, let's see. Ten damage coming in. I guess we'll throw a good sequence out. In the world and loop. We already got the block covered. Let's do some general damage. Now we're covered, so I'm not going to bother playing them. All right, 19's coming in. Uh, let's double my energy, because it carries over from turn to turn, so why not? Uh, let's get self-repair active. Don't really have any attacks, so let's draw a card. 
Sure, we can do that. Let's kill him off. More actions that I know what to do with. They just carry over from turn to turn, so I might as well. Just not much block, though. I'm only going to have four points of block. He's hitting me for 15. Taking a lot more damage than I would like here, that's for sure. Now he's going to get lightninged. Hmm. Can I fit this in? Yeah, I should be able to fit that in. Sure, let's try that out. I don't think I've even cast it before. Let's loop, do more damage. He's hitting me for a lot here. Um, crap. I don't think I can kill him. Let's see what we draw. 21, that's not enough damage. And I'm gonna survive the hit, but not by a lot, so let's have some block. Yeah, it took a lot of damage in that combat, even though we did heal up a little bit. Yeah, it got us back to about where we were before, actually. Uh, gain through orb slots is pretty cool. Stack is also pretty good. Let's take Capacitor. Have another fight here. Uh, the Knight and the Healer. They're both can attack me for a bunch. Guess we need our block. Should have doubled energy first. It didn't matter, it was a zero cost. Sure, let's trigger that, and let's hammer you for some damage. I take 10 damage here, which I don't like. Need a bit more blocking and maybe some frost stuff as well. Uh, so 12 coming in, I've got some defense. More energy. Let's keep nailing that one. Get echo form up. Let's not take any damage this turn. Yeah, healing little sucker. Okay, got a couple streamlines. Get out a frost. Uh, let's start hitting you. All right, I forget that that triggers twice. So I've actually got that up. So stuff triggers twice. Got to remember the first card I play triggers twice. Let's have a self repair active. Let's just do as much damage as we can here. I don't need to do that much, do I? Yep, that'll kill you. So do I prevent the next two times I do damage, or receive damage, or uh, just do a whole bunch of damage? Let's try to preserve my health. For now, anyway. Alright, let's go for the eyes. Yeah, I forget that that triggers twice. I should have done like a loop or static discharge first, probably. Um, so let's loop a couple times. Because, why not? Static Discharge. 
Let's take some block. It's kind of a waste of one of my preventions there. I've already got eight. Uh, let's draw a card, see what we get. Got streamlines, so that would be kind of good to grab with the hologram. It's the cheap one. One for 20, one for 15. Nice, good amount of damage. I want a bunch of extra energy? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and zap him a bit. Probably can kill him here, yeah. Got enough damage in. Alright, not too bad. And we healed up to 54. 10 damage to all enemies, cool. Uh, go for the eyes. Upgraded is not too bad. Chill. Channel one frost for every enemy in combat. Exhaust. That's pretty good as well. Uh, let's take the chill. Might screw up some of my other stuff, but oh well. Let's go mystery. The mystery box. A note for yourself. You spot a loose brick within a pillar that catches your eye. You find a folded note and a card inside. It reads, The heart awaits. This is your handwriting. Take and give. Receive iron wave and store a card. Gain five block, deal five damage. And store a card. What does store a card mean? I don't know what storing a card means. Choose a card to store. What does that mean? Maybe if you run into this event again? Uh, something like that? That's kind of what I'm guessing. Um, I don't really want to get rid of any of my cards, to tell you the truth. Um, uh, maybe just a recursion, or... Cool head, maybe? What is going on? Yeah, I think it's gone. Right? Yeah, weird. Okay. Alright, we'll heal up here before we get to the final boss, or the sub-boss of this part of the dungeon, or spire. I always say dungeon. I always think this is like darkest dungeon, kind of dungeon crawly kind of thing. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. I've never beaten this guy. So this might be it. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. So he's not going to attack me this turn. This feels like a waste to use this for him, but I don't think he summons any minions or anything. Let's have Hello World. Let's have Static Discharge. I'm not going to waste the boot sequence. I don't need to defend. Um, this exhausts, so I kind of feel like it's a waste at the moment. It is nice to have the chill orb, so I'm always getting at least some block, though. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do it. And we'll save those energies for next turn. Now he's going to attack me. All right, so let's have some block. Get a streamline going. Get some defense. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and hit him. And we're covered for this turn, but he's going to keep doing more and more damage as it goes. And just a vulnerable... Vulnerable and frail, so I get less block and I do I receive more damage. Now he's hitting me for 27. Uh, what can we do here? Buffer, of course, would be quite helpful. Let's just go ahead and do it. Claws free, so why not? Uh, let's block at least a little bit. Oh, that actually doesn't matter because I got the buffer out. So let's have some more orb slots. So this attack will get through my defenses, but won't actually do any damage. Got one more free hit that I don't have to worry about. Okay, let's... Get a lightning out. Sure, let's go echo form. Try to remember that I've got it this turn. Just loop like crazy. And I guess we'll beam him a little bit. Nothing I can do. Making me weaker and more vulnerable. Lots of actions now. More than I know what to do with. <laughs> I might as well double it, because I carry it over from turn to turn. Yeah, let's do that. How about 20? I'll have 20 actions, please. Uh, he's not attacking me, so that doesn't matter too much, but it is an attack, which then might trigger the kunai and the shuriken, so I should attack as much as I can. I've got more than enough actions, I might as well just burn everything. So let's just do everything we can. Go, a little bit more strength and defense. He's boosting his own strength. Now we got a big attack coming. Wow, look at all of it. I can cast everything in my entire deck. Um, let's see. So the first thing I cast goes twice. So how about we... Oh, it's only 12 damage for Streamline. Um, how about we Rebound? Then Streamline. And Ball Lightning. Don't actually do any damage or anything here. More lightning. I'm gonna trigger a ton of stuff here. I can give myself more actions since that's a plasma. Um, it's kind of pointless. I guess it carries over. And it's kind of pointless to do this because the next hit that comes in I'm not gonna take any damage from thanks to this. Otherwise, I might have to do this just to get some block. Uh, let's just call it good. Now I'm in trouble, now that that's run out. 30 coming at me. Uh, Go for the Eyes actually does something here. Got a streamline for one. Let's do some damage and draw a card. Sure, self-repair is nice. What's in here? Can grab a free streamline. So let's do it. Hit him again. Well, I might actually beat him this time for the first time feel pretty confident at the moment, but uh, that's probably fleeting. 
I wish my block would carry over from turn to turn. Yeah, having a ton of loops out is pretty good. Um, don't even know what to do. I have so many things. All right, so we're drawing more cards. <laughs> I could give myself more actions. Let's just do as much damage as we can here. Up to 12 damage on my strikes. That's pretty cool. Um, doesn't really matter for the defense. The recursion doesn't really help me that much. Next turn, gaining another action. Doesn't really help me that much. Uh, I guess we can just do a recursion. We'll get the benefit either way. We still have one, but now we've got lightning set, so we could potentially trigger the lightnings for more damage. Uh, and these I'm not going to even bother casting. Now he's angry. Ten. Ten strength. Nice. Uh, so 40 damage coming at me. That's not great. Um, how about we streamline him twice? <laughs> um, let's see. How about we draw a card? Do some damage. Have some lightning. See how you like it. Uh, let's do some more damage. Can I kill him this turn? The lightning should kill him, right? Let's do 13. Just have a ton of block. One more block. So my lightning's trigger, that should finish him off. Nice! Finish the champ for the first time ever. Maybe I've broken the game here. Uh, what do we want? Machine learning. Start of your turn, draw an additional card. That's pretty good. Put a card from your draw pile into your hand. An exhaust. Uh, not bad. I can always get the uh, streamlines that I've already cast back out. So either one of these is okay, but let's take machine learning, I think. A broken crown. Busted crown. Gain an action at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. Well, that's okay. Black star. Elites drop an additional relic when defeated. Not bad. Fusion hammer. Uh, gain one action at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. That's kind of a pretty big negative. Elites dropping more relics is kind of good. I don't think I really need more actions. So let's just go with relics. Once I get things rolling, I have more actions than I know what to do with. Okay, what kind of path do we want here? I've got a little bit of money. I might want to aim for some elites. There's one on that path, one on here, one on here. So we're going to run into one no matter what. Hmm. Maybe we'll go through a couple mysteries and then hit the vendor and then we'll go up. Yeah, that's not too bad. We'll see how it goes. Ah, these guys. I always forget about these guys. Studio Ghibli enemies. So I have to kind of kill all of them around the same time or they just come back after a couple turns. So let's have some block for this turn. Get Hello World out. Get machine learning out. And just hammer somebody here. I don't really want to channel three frosts. I'd like to keep the lightning and the actions up. Let's just do some damage. Having the three chills, is that better? Possibly. 
17 damage is coming at me. Alright, I guess we'll do it. I do carry the energy over, so it's not that big of a deal. Still going to take a little bit of damage. Okay. Now I've got a lot of damage coming at me. Um, that's not great. Maybe we'll have to buffer. I'd like to get the loops out. Um, let's just get all my loops active, because that's really helpful. Um, so all of them are going to activate four times. That's at the start of my turn. Now let's grab the buffer. And let's just do some just general damage. Buffer gone. Alright, let's double my energy. Hmm. A lot of attacks coming in. Um, so let's rebound the charge battery. Could have another loop. Go for maximum blockage. I'm trying to keep them kind of doing some damage to all of them because I have to kill them all around the same time, otherwise it doesn't really work. Uh, I could go ahead and just do some general damage, but I'd like to kill them off with it if I'm going to do that. I was doing a lot more damage than I expected. Let's see. Let's charge battery again. I really need to take somebody out here, maybe. Static discharge will make things kind of crazy. Let's do some general damage, draw a card. No, it's not that helpful. I'm going to take this guy out just temporarily. I don't think it's going to matter. I think he's going to come back before I can kill the other two. But it means I'm going to take less damage right now. Of lightnings. Oh, let's see. How about extra orbs? A lot of attacks coming. Actually, what's your health at? 20? Let's have a cheap streamline. Finish your day off. So he's going to come back. Yeah, let's just have to block. I'm not getting a ton of actions this time. Just not working it out quite what I need.
do massive lightnings. Um, let's see. Let's have that. Let's dual cast. There we go. Lightning for the win. Fairy in a bottle. When you would die, heal to 10% of your max HP instead and discard this potion. Alright, cool. So an upgraded leap is pretty good. Stack is not bad. Aggregate. Let's take aggregate, actually. I want to increase my actions as soon as possible. And as often as possible. Let's head for the vendor here, I think. Oh, sweet, chest. Anchor, start each combat with 10 block. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Combat. This is an orb walker. At the end of its turn, gains three strength. That's not good. Um, fine. Then I'll have some frost, please. Thank you. Take that. Take that. I guess we'll avoid any damage here. Let's go for the eyes. Um, some block and some damage. Let's hit him for as much as we can. I'm not quite going to block everything, so let's go ahead and make sure we're going to block everything and do as much damage as we can, I guess. Ah, I forgot about the burns. This guy sucks. Um, so we can go for the eyes again. Let's see. Alright, let's wall lightning. Let's dual cast the plasma. Give me a bunch of actions. Let's add some orb slots. Go static discharge. I am gonna take a bit of damage here. Quite a bit of damage actually. Um or we could just use the Explosive Potion to finish him off. Uh, I take 13 damage. Yeah, let's just go ahead and kill him. Another Fairy in a Bottle. I wonder how that works if you have two. Uh, let's take the Upgraded Streamline. Let's just do as much damage as we can. I like the Upgraded Streamlines. Go to the Venda. Uh, a loop on sale, even. It's really good, so let's grab that. Okay, two focus, lose an orb slot. Eh, not so great. What can I afford? Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. That's not terrible. Uh, add a power card. Thorns, thorns. Thorns is pretty useful for me. If I could sell this, <laughs> every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal fourteen damage to all enemies. Oh, I should have paid attention. That for this deck, that would actually be pretty useful. Can I sell this? No, I can't. That's a bunch of crap. I should have paid attention. I should have grabbed the panache instead. Um, well, crap. 
Uh, I guess I'll just leave that free. None of these are that great. So we've got another vendor further up, I think. We could potentially hit him again. I don't know if Panache probably isn't going to come up again. Shutting from the chaotic terrain around you, a bony sphere surrounds a mystical or mysterious glowing object within. While you're curious what lies inside, you know some sentries keeping an eye on it. Open sphere. Fight! Reward. Rare relic or leave? Um, hmm. Let's go for it. As soon as you strike the sphere, the sentries spring to life around you. These are two of the guys who just caused some problems for me, aren't they? Yeah. This might be pretty difficult. Um, okay. Let's have some block. Let's draw cards. Let's draw cards. Let's get some more block. And let's just focus on one of you. I do have the two fairy in the bottles. Alright, time to double my energy. Except I should have rebounded it. Um, well, let's rebound and go with Streamline, I guess. And we can cold snap. Get more actions. How much damage am I doing now? 21. Yeah, let's kill this guy. Let's have some more block. Streamline's not cheaper. Let's loop. Let's streamline. Let's ball lightning. Let's draw a card, see if we get anything useful. Hmm. The loop will give me more block, so let's go with that. At least from next turn, anyway. I'll take a whole bunch of damage. Well, we can just buffer to not take any damage. I don't think I can kill him. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can kill him this turn. It'd be nice to get some other stuff going. Buffer, just to save myself. We're going to do some kind of passive damage. Let's get self-repair up so we can heal if we survive. Just call that good. Buffer was the priority. Twenty-seven. Well, let's do what we can here. Uh, this won't even give me two, so that's not that useful since it costs one. It's ball lightning. I can't quite... Well, actually, my lightning should kill him off.
So I think we're okay here. Yep. Okay, Incense Burner. Every six turns, gain one intangible. Intangible, reduce all damage taken and HP lost to one. All right, sure. Auto Shields. If you have no block, gain 15 block. That's okay. I often have some block, though. Um, I'm just going to keep taking a ton of streamlines. <laughs> I kind of feel like I need to heal up here, though. Um, so let's heal. Then we're going to take on the Elite. Yeah. No, I haven't seen this guy before. What are you? Nemesis. Tends to attack six times for three damage. That's not very nice. Block everything. Hologram doesn't do me a lot of good right now. There's nothing in my discard pile. So we'll just save. Not that it matters. Did he just go intangible? He did. So I can only do one damage for each attack, but he's going to hit me for 45. That sounds like a bunch of crap to me. Well, I guess I'll try for some block. Get some frost for more blocking. I might as well pay for this so it's cheaper next time. That's a lot of damage. I don't know if I'm going to survive this guy doing that much damage. So he's going to do something negative. Um, I've got some loops. Those are going to be helpful since I've got a bunch of things going. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to survive, so I'm not that focused on that. Um, let's just do as much damage as we can, I guess. Goody, burns. What fun. And he's intangible again, and gonna attack me for a ton. This seems kind of like a bunch of crap to me. Um, Alright, what can we do here? Let's weaken him, I guess. Let's rebound a loop. Keep using the streamlines because it is going to reduce the cost. More damage here than I'd like to be taken. This guy's way tougher than I expected for just a regular elite. Now comes my actions. Oh, lots of actions. Oh, so many actions. How about 20 actions? Don't have any way to draw cards though, really. Um, that's one for one, so it's not a big deal. Just do everything, I guess. Um, am I going to survive? That's the problem. I guess all I can really do is throw up a little bit of block. Um, 
So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to take 34, so I'll barely survive this. Um, I do have the fairy in the bottles, though. It's a massive amount of damage. But I have more actions than I know what to do with at this point. So let's just get everything we possibly can up. That's going to help. Um, draw a card. Hmm. Give myself even more actions. I guess. Why not? I might as well just do everything since I can. Let's rebound the Iron Wave. And I'm only doing one point. It's kind of pathetic. Um, I don't know if I want to trigger Zap because then I'm going to lose one of my Frosts. Um, hmm. I think it's better to have them for the blocking because he's doing so much damage. I should be paying attention to this. I didn't even notice. Every six turns, again one tangible. Am I intangible right now? Yes, I am. Okay. More burns. Great. Burns might kill me here, actually. Well, I got buffer back. That might save me. Uh, what else do we want to do? I've got some cheap streamlines. Let's see, let's just do as much damage as we can here. Channel 4, nice. That was way tougher than it should have been. The start of each combat, heal 2 HP. Okay, sure. Uh, if your HP is full, gain 1 action at the start of your turn. Okay. Hmm. Lightning now hits all enemies. Channel 3 lightning. That could be really good. The double energy probably is better for me if I upgrade it. So let's take that. I'm kind of stuck on this path now. Navigating through the beyond, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting gently in the air. You touch it. A sharp pain flows through you, followed by vivid flashes of a distant memory. Whose memories are these? Add one colorless card to your deck. Add two and lose five. Add three and lose ten. I don't really have enough health to lose, so I'll just take one. Uh, Panache! Every time you play five cards a single turn, deal 14 damage to all enemies. That was one I wanted. Uh, so with Transmutation, add X random colorless cards into your hand. They cost zero this turn. That's decent. Jack of all trades, add one random colorless card into your hand. Exhaust. I like Panache. That's awesome. Fear. A demonic creature towers above you, wings spread wide as it howls with laughter. Dead bodies of a tribe surround you, all the villages engulfed in terrible dark flames. The demon calls out, taunting you. You really are the strongest now! <laughs> this laughter echoes forever. I don't think uh, we're sane. Bottled Tornado. Upon pickup, choose a power card. Start each combat with that card in your hand. Well, panache, <laughs> obviously. Definitely. All right, let's heal up because I kind of need to. I think we might actually make it. Although we're kind of hurt. Um, I can hit another before we get there. Oh, ah, Vendor, okay. What do you got? Compile Driver, Stack, Tempest, Storm. An 8. Whenever you play a power card, channel 1 Lightning. That's pretty good. Finesse, 2 block, draw a card. Transmutation, we saw before. 
Whetstone, upon pickup, upgrade two random attacks. Eh. Uh, let's take the storm. Guess this is better than nothing. 10 damage, 4 plated armor, 4 plated armor. Uh, the plated armor is not bad. Eh, let's take a whetstone. Alright, cool. Uh, which path do we want to take? I don't have a lot of money left. Um, the last elite nearly killed me, so I don't really want to fight another one. So let's go this route. We've at least got a mystery here. There's one fight and a mystery as opposed to two. Well, I would heal right away, and then I could get two fights in and then heal again. Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just heal here. Hopefully the two fights aren't too bad, and we can heal up again before the final boss. What the heck is that? <laughs> I don't like the look of that. Uh, the Maw. Going to do negative effect. Alright, let's have Panache active. Let's have Hello World. Let's have Machine Learning. Uh, he's not attacking me, so that's not too big of a deal. I can take a chill, I guess. We'll have Storm. That's fine. Weakened and frail. Great. Alright, he's going to attack. So what do we want to do? I think I got one defense. Let's throw a self-repair out so we've got that. Uh, defend for almost nothing. So we'll have more actions, please. Do as much damage as we can. Echo form will have to wait. All right. So I've got some loops. We've got a rebound. So we could rebound some loops. Um, what is he doing? He tends to buff. Let's rebound a loop. Can loop again. Let's draw a card. to block, that's fine. Twenty damage is quite a lot. Um, not a fan of that. I think I should probably throw out a buffer. Let's just have massive amounts of loop. Buffer saving me again and again. So we are intangible this turn. Let's 
double my energy. Uh, let's go with a streamlined rebound. Not attacking me, so we'll just keep doing as much as we can. That's what I like to see. Let's have some more energy. 33 damage. That's not very nice. Um, let's do that. Do 18 more. Can I get another cheap one? Two cost streamline, two cost streamline, zero. And you're dead. Three orb slots, seven damage, draw a card, melter, remove all block from the enemy, deal 14 damage. That's potentially quite good. Let's take that. Kind of situational. Oh, uh, the three baby maws. Jaw worms. So this is what was causing all that craziness to go off. Uh, I've got that covered, so I don't need to use that. Hmm. I feel like this could potentially be harmful because I can't plan on what I'm doing based on what orbs I have active. But let's mess around with it. Let's double our energy. A lot of attacks coming in. That's not awesome. Um, hmm. Who's the most hurt? You barely hurt. Let's rebound the iron wave, I guess. Some attacking and blocking at the same time. And we'll rebound our streamline. Um, so that triggered with what up here? Actually, that was Panache, wasn't it? Yeah, Panache triggered. That's what that was. Let's have Static Discharge. And let's just keep whittling you down. We'll have our energy for next turn. Take a bit of damage here, unfortunately. Let's have some more actions. How about charge battery for more actions next time? And lightning finished them off, cool.
Don't even need it. I'm dead. Nice. Uh, let's see. Go for the eyes we've seen. Ball lightning we've seen. Genetic algorithm. Gain one block. Permanently increase this card's block by three. Kind of late in the game to get this. Um... Be better to go for the eyes or ball lightning, maybe. If I'd gotten that early on, it would have been useful, but we're right at the end. Uh, I am going to go ahead and rest here. Be fully healed up going into the final fight. I'm not sure who we're fighting. Oh, I fought this guy before. The sleeper. Pretty big attack coming in, actually. All right, let's go lightning crazy here. Do I need the 10 more block? Yeah, we might as well. Let's go ahead and chill. Panache triggered there, that's cool. We've got all this energy we're going to carry over to next turn. And we're barely going to block everything. Okay, um, extra energy please. Because why not? Let's have some more orb slots. Let's go recursion. I think I can do pretty much everything. Another panache triggering. Take these guys out. And I think we'll hold off on anything else. So he gains strength when I play a power. That's not great. He heals. He hasn't woken up yet. Yeah, this I was kind of surprised when I fought him before. He's asleep the whole time you're fighting him at first, and then he, you finish off the HP bar, and then he just comes back. And he's awake and not very happy. That's quite a bit of attack coming my way. So I'm not a fan of that. Um, I really need more frost. So this doesn't exhaust, so we'll go ahead and use it. Why not? Uh, 14 times 4 is an awful lot of damage. Ow. Twenty. It's also a lot. Um, geez, what are we gonna do here? Uh, what's in my discard pile? Let's take the streamline back. Let's rebound my cheap streamline. Let's loop. Let's just 
do as much damage as I can here. I'm going to survive this hit, but not by a lot. Getting in dangerous territory. I do have the two fairy bottles, though. Now, 15 times 4, that's just unfair. That's not nice at all. Uh, let's get some armor. Let's rebound the Iron Wave, I guess. Lightning and have a stream line. Now he'll wake up and it'll be even worse. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> All right, more energy, please. Um, sure, let's zap. Why not? Let's do that. Let's get buffer out as well. So we'll avoid taking some damage a couple times. I think that probably just saved me, otherwise I was probably going to die. Um... Do everything. Throw everything we have at him. Thank you, Buffer. Ah, uh, nothing that fantastic this time, though. Um... 20 times 3, since that's going to count it as separate attacks, that's going to kill me. Um, I do have some decent defends. I think I should probably just throw up as much defense as I can here. Um, and we'll just get a little bit more damage in. Barely survived that. I kind of need to kill him now. I don't know if I can survive much more. Oh, I'm intangible! Ah oh, ha ha! You can only do one damage to me. All right, we're fine then. I think. Um, be nice to have more actions. I'll give myself more actions next turn. Let's do some zapping. Got a good hit for one. Eighteen and ten. That'll do it. Just barely finishing them off. Alright, the defective actually getting to the end and finishing. To thump, to thump, to thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this evil? You charge your core to its maximum. Attack? Do 780 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? 
You feel that you have now dealt a total of 2,083 damage to the heart, a total of 14,636,643,707 damage has been dealt by all who faced it. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Victory? Cool, got some unlocks. Ah, not too bad. 51 floors climbed, 15 enemies slain. Two Exordium Elites, one City Elite, one Beyond Elite, three bosses. Perfect. Defeat a boss without taking damage. I didn't realize I got that. Cards unlocked. Turbo. Gain two actions. Add a Void into your discard pile. It's Void. Voids are unplayable status cards that consume energy when drawn. That's not great. Slender. Deals 24 damage. If this kills an enemy, gain three. That's pretty good. Three energy. Three actions. I keep saying actions and energy. Meteor Strike. Deal 24 damage. Channel 3 Plasma. That's really cool. Um, plasma gives you more actions. Or more energy. I had a really good selection of uh, relics this time, so that helped quite a bit. Meteor Strike could be really good with that deck I was playing, just because killing stuff, getting the plasmas, then the plasmas trigger and give you more actions, and then you carry the actions over. My deck got a bit uh, big and unwieldy there, but uh, I think the combination of having the energy carry over from turn to turn and then all the cool stuff that was triggering helped quite a bit. Alright, so we've beaten it once with all of them. I'm not sure if that means anything. Okay, apparently that's it. Alright, well thanks for watching. Um, this actually didn't take quite as long as I thought. The previous ones were took forever. But uh, this particular one, doing quite a bit of damage. It's a little faster to go through the combats. Uh, and then uh, since I'd already done that first section and kind of built things up, it wasn't too bad. So anyway, that was some more Slay the Spire. I'm not sure if we'll be streaming this again. I just kind of thought it'd be kind of fun to finish off the game I started last night. So, uh, yeah, there you go. If you're interested in other streams of things I've done, you can check out older streams on my YouTube channel, which is also Disturbing Puppet, which is one word. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you all again. Have a good one.